breaking news from CBS 17 News. You want to get straight to breaking news? Right now, protesters are blocking a road in Durham. CBS 17's Jamise Price joining us live there from the scene. This is right near the police department. Uh, Jamise, what do we know so far? These protesters have been out here now for 10 days, and this morning they took things up a notch. They are now blocking this road here on East Main Street, right in front of the police department. Now, speaking to some of these protesters, they told me that they had to make things, move things up a notch now because not enough progress um, has been made. Now, uh, this morning when we got here, there was a person in the middle of the street just lying on the ground here, and just behind us, you can see some of uh, wood boards that's blocking the streets along with um, Black Lives Matter signs. You can see a Black Lives Matter flag flying as well. And when drivers get to this point, um, they can see a be prepared to stop sign. And at that point, you have some of these uh, protesters kind of directing them on exactly where to go. But again, talking with some of the folks out here, they told me that they feel like they are at a stalemate. Not enough progress um, has been made and they will remain out out here until they see some progress. Now, again, they've been out here for 10 days and all of this coming after the city council unanimously approved a $70 million in funding for the Durham Police Department. Durham city leader said that included a 5% increase in funding from last year due to infl inflation. Now, the protesters have asked city council to reallocate some funds from the Durham Police Department to other areas. One of those areas they mentioned to me was the Durham Renewal Project, but they said, hey, when progress can be made, they'll move. Other than that, they're staying out here. Live in Durham, Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.